Okay, so for today's video, we're checking out software update v68, which apparently is out already. I didn't know, I just happened to check and I saw it's available. But while it's doing that, let's uh, let's just read about it. Week of July 29th. Yep, that was yesterday. It was a few hours ago, literally. It's 2.34 in the morning, so I guess I just got it. All right, here we go. These features and enhancements will become available starting the week of J July 29th and will be pushed to MetaQuest 3 Pro and 2 headsets. MetaQuest mobile app is now the Meta Horizon mobile app. What does that have to do with version 68? Meta AI on MetaQuest. Meta AI on Quest is a new AI powered assistant that enables you to seamlessly access information, get insights about your real life surroundings, and control your device using voice. Meta AI on MetaQuest will launch as an experimental feature. Okay, so I guess once the upload is done and I restart, the Meta AI will be available as something I could turn on. MetaQuest Play Now, Pay Later. Get MetaQuest 3 with access to a revolving catalog of games you can play instantly and enhance warranty coverage starting at $24.99 per month over 24 months. What does this have to do with the software update? Am I dumb? Am I not understanding something here? Uh, get MetaQuest 3 with access. So are they saying you can get the Quest 3 on a payment plan if you qualify? I'm assuming that's what they mean. Graphics and performance improvements, Quest 3 only. Okay, so not for Quest 2, but we'll we'll read it anyway in case you're curious we've made a number of enhancements to quest 3 graphics and performance we reduced performance latency for a more immersive comfortable and lifelike experience quest 3 now supports content adaptive brightness control which reduces contrast in darker scenes improving the display experience i can't do anything of that's because i have a quest 2 so it doesn't matter safety center updates experience streamline account management and clearer communication about your profile status and blah 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 nobody fucking cares keyboard improvements we made a number of improvements to the virtual keyboard okay when you start a search or chat the keyboard will appear in a more optimal position and won't overlap with other screens never really had that bit, that much of a problem with that you can easily reposition the keyboard in your space the keyboard will reappear in different default locations based on what you were last doing layout utility app layout is a new utility app designed to help you spatially measure align and visualize real world objects directly in your physical space some things you can do with layout include measure the square foot so they promised this before is this only going to be for quest 3 though oh well, i guess we'll find out Measure the square footage of your living room. Visualize the size and placement of a 72 inch TV on wall. Visualize potential new furniture in your living room. Okay, that's different. This might just be Quest 3 though. Measure the height and depth of a kitchen counter. Align the photo frames on your wall. That's that's neat, but it's it might just be for Quest 3 only. We'll see if it's there or not. Library improvements. We've made a number of enhancements to your library and the app downloading experience manage all your downloads and app updates from the new download tab in your library see what apps are in queue and prioritize apps you want to download first i mean we'll see if it even applies to quest 2. we've also added a new all tab in your library which shows all your apps and worlds in a single page improved graphics performance you should now see smoother and more responsive virtual and mixed reality experiences on MetaQuest headsets with fewer delays and interruptions so they're not specifically saying quest 3 or pro they're just saying headsets, all of them, I'm assuming. You should now see smoother and more responsive virtual and mixed reality experiences on MetaQuest headsets with fewer delays and interruptions. I don't even know if I could notice that. Low bat battery alerts. You'll now receive an audio alert from your headset when you take it off and your battery is low as a reminder to charge it up before your next session. I've never had any issues with that. Cloud backup management. You can now manage your cloud backups. Find out which of your apps are backed up, when they were last backed up, and start a backup by going to system in settings and setting backup. This will be rolling out gradually, so I probably don't even have it yet. Controller pairing now in headset. Previously, you could only pair a controller. Oh, I, I'm getting, I'm guessing like a Bluetooth controller, like a Xbox controller or something like that. I don't, I don't have any of that. Don't use any of that. So I really don't know how any of that's supposed to be. But anyway, you can now pair a controller in your headset from headset from by. That's not proper English. Going to settings, then devices, then controllers, and selecting pair controllers. Audio input balance. You can now control the 
audio level balance between your microphone oh yeah i heard about that between your microphone and game audio when recording live streaming or casting you can update these settings by going to settings then system and selecting camera okay so we'll see if that, that's there this is quest 3 only but i'll read it anyway screenshot resolution improvement now your screenshots taken on quest 3 will look even better as we've increased the resolution from 1440 by 1440 to 2160 by 2160 so that's it that's that's what we're supposed to be getting don't know if i'm getting any of that right now we're gonna check a few a few seconds so the main thing i need to check out is the audio stuff i guess the library stuff see if any of that changed and then this whole layout utility app i don't know if that's going to be in this though i think that might be quest 3 only let's see what we got so i'm going to Stop recording now, restart the headset, see if I can get this thing to work, and then we'll find out what's going on. All right, before I actually reset the headset, I just wanted to quickly look at this. So this is before the new update. So real quick, we're in camera. So we went into system camera, and this is what we see. If what they say is correct, we'll have the option to adjust the microphone volume for the headset. And the other thing was an experimental. This is what it looks like before the update. If the new app, the layout app, is for Quest 2 as well, then it should show up here. That's the one that should allow us to uh, be able to like measure the square footage of our room, um, you know, create like a, a visual representation of some bullshit product that we bought to see how it looks in the room. Again, I, I'm pretty sure that's just gonna be for Quest 3, but we'll see. And it still says updating, so I'm gonna probably have to restart the headset, then do the update, and then probably restart again. After I stopped the recording again, I checked and still don't have access to this. This doesn't do anything. The settings in here, when you click on it, nothing there changes, nothing on this screen changes, but notice if I scroll down here and then I push the settings button here, kind of does something here and makes it go back up but you can't do anything even when I'm not recording you can't do anything you can't actually access the feature yet like before this is a either I fucked up and I don't know what I'm doing or it's an update without really getting much of the update that's what it seems like I did restart a second time just in case to see if anything changed and it actually showed that my battery is low but it did not do the the audio feedback or whatever they said to let me know not that I give a shit but it is something they said that it was gonna happen so that didn't happen either so there's a whole lot of nothing the only thing we got once again is uh, this part that says that you can do that but you can't actually do it yet and that's it nothing else changed so I don't know I'll give it a day see if you know it changes again or if they add something if they do then I'll add it to this video before I, I post it and if nothing changes then I'll just this video is just gonna be the way it is that's what I got for you today uh, I was actually kind of excited because I saw you know that the software update was out and uh, yeah, no, big disappointment. Nothing really changed. But we'll see. Fingers crossed that it'll actually show something uh, in the next couple of days. So, uh, you yeah. know, if you found this video informative, hit the like button. If you want to see us more, subscribe, leave comments, maybe consider becoming a member. And uh, with any luck, I will see you in the next video. And until then, take care.